Hello, this is Sean from DeRosa Education and Research. Today we'll be talking about number sequence problems. The basic idea of these problems is that you are given a sequence of numbers that are related in some way and you have to find the next number in the sequence. These problems are common in selective school entrance exams, scholarship exams and psychometric tests. In this video we'll cover some of the common sequences that appear. Arithmetic progressions. These are the simplest type of sequences that can be given. Each term in the sequence is equal to the previous term plus some fixed number. For example, 1, 5, 9, 13, question mark. To find question mark, we add 4 to 13 to give 17. To check if you have an arithmetic progression, you can subtract from each term the term before it. If you always get the same result, you have an arithmetic progression. In our case, we get 5 minus 1 equals 4, 9 minus 5 equals 4, and 13 minus 9 equals 4. Also note, we could have a decreasing sequence. For example, 23, 19, 15, 11, question mark. We can think of this as the same case as above, except now we are adding a negative number to each term. Geometric progressions. Geometric progressions are like arithmetic progressions, but instead of adding a fixed number to the previous term to get the next term, you multiply the previous number by a fixed number. For example, 3, 6, 12, 24, question mark. To find question mark, we multiply 24 by 2 to give 48. A characteristic of geometric progressions is that the terms can become quite large uh, quite fast. You can check four geometric progressions by dividing each term by the term before it. If you always get the same result, you have a geometric progression. In our example, 6 divided by 3 equals 2, 12 divided by 6 equals 2, and 24 divided by 12 equals 2. There are two important variations that can occur. One is when the fixed number is between 0 and 1. For example, 48, 24, 12, 6, question mark, and question mark equals 3. In this case, each term is multiplied by a half to get the next term. The other case is when the fixed number is negative. In this case, terms alternate between being positive and negative numbers. For example, 3, minus 6, 12, minus 24, question mark, question mark equals 48. In this case, each term is multiplied by minus 2 to get the next term. Pause the video and work through the questions. The answers will appear shortly. Thank you for watching. Check out our website for practice questions on this and other topics.